Just what, what kind of challenges do the, the Celtics present just in terms of trying to attack them defensively, the way they switch, it seems, from elite defender to elite defender to elite defender? Yeah, I think uh, the way they're built, they can switch. Um, you know, that starting five, they can switch. After that, it gets a little dicey. Um, but I thought, again, we had some great looks. We're missing bunnies tonight that we normally have made here in the past. We got good looks at threes. Um, I think we just were a little bit frustrated with the officiating, and, um, you know, we lost our focus, and we got to be better. Obviously, a lot of the talk going into the game was the time off and the ability to practice. Was that, you know, effort-wise and performance-wise, was that aligned with, you know, the, the time off? Was, did that have some effect on it, or you know, was it had nothing to do with that at all? Yeah, I think that's a player's question. Um, but a as the coach, I think, you know, coming into it, we win the first quarter and we win the fourth quarter. We gave up a big 40-point quarter there in the second. Um, the they missed their threes to start the game, and then they started to get a rhythm. Um, just understand, we just have to be better defensively. They picked on one guy the whole night and, and understand we got to protect him. Um, and we just didn't do that tonight. You mentioned being frustrated with the officiating and losing focus. How do you? How can you address that in the moment? I move on to the next play, and we've talked about that over and over. Um, and sometimes, you know, with maturity, it takes time. And uh, we've been inconsistent in that department where we can get caught up with the officials instead of just staying focused on the game. Uh, no one's going to be perfect uh, from player to official to coach. So you got to just continue to keep doing your job. And I thought we got, there, you know, we got frustrated there and they took advantage of that. Um, again, they, they're going to create a lot of threes. They weren't making them early on. Um, and then they did, and that's what a good team does. They find their rhythm, and they found, and they got, they started making shots. But for us, we had to continue to keep driving the ball, putting pressure on them. Again, we we had some great looks that we just, just didn't go down, and that carried over for a minute or two or three. And we just can't have that against the one, if not the best team in the league. When you say you should do a better job protecting Luca, you know, is how does that actually bear out? Better you know, cross match matches or. Doubles or, or no, I think it just comes down to just the help side. You know, just understand when the ball drives, what your responsibility is, um, and and then that leads to another uh, cover where someone else has to be responsible for uh, helping each other. And we just have to be better at that. Um, but Boston is a team that puts you in harm's way by driving the ball. You, um, you talk about their two guys had 38 and 35. You're not going to be in too many ball games, and we were still right there. Um, but unfortunately, when you have those two, you know, getting to the free throw line and being able to shoot the three or be able to drive, it's just going to put your defense in in a, in a bad situation and a lot of pressure on your offense. And, and tonight, we weren't shooting the ball or finishing at a high clip. Thanks.